uh, now talking of energy now this is where more calculations come in and this is where i was saying you before you even go there before you even go into the mathematics take this as a rule of thumb or as a law basically so let's say this is nucleus anywhere the electron is anywhere okay it will have potential energy but that potential energy will always be equal to negative of two times kinetic energy always and we'll see why always if this is six joules this is going to be minus 12 joules so then total energy is potential plus kinetic which turns out to be minus 2k plus k so total energy will always be equal to minus k okay just just take it as a fact and we'll see how with the calculations also so these things you really have to be on on your fingertips explain so this is not explanation this is just a fact ninard so let's do that so let's say you have some electron electron has two kinds of energy electrostatic potential energy and the kinetic energy which is half mv squared so take it as a rule because with calculations you'll see that potential energy is always double of kinetic energy with a negative sign there so if kinetic energy is 5 joules potential will be minus 10 joules if kinetic is 7 joules potential will be minus 14 joules and this is something you did in gravitation chapter if you remember in gravitation chapter you if you remember the potential energy or actually the kinetic energy of the satellite was this and the potential energy oh sorry this was the kinetic energy with a positive sign and the potential energy was double of this which is minus g m m by r and then the total energy will be sum of this which was negative of g m m by 2 r which was same as kinetic with the flipped sign right so this is what we are saying so then total energy is u plus k so which turns out to be minus k plus k so total energy is always minus of k and potential is minus of 2k okay now these things you don't have to memorize i'm really poor with memorizing anything let me tell you i don't even remember the symbols of what is iron i mean iron is extreme case you know fe but i am really poor with memorizing and forget these formula but when you try to think logically these will come on your fingertips and visual kind of memory i cannot memorize any formula that is a shortcoming i have but then then when you do these kind of analysis yourself i cannot teach you nobody can teach you take a paper try to scribble yourself you will get it always right but anyways now a kinetic energy is half mv square that we did earlier and velocity we found was this much right so when you do all of that all of that seriously this you have to take a screenshot of you have to take a screenshot of all this right you can clearly see that the potential energy is double of this this is the number you're getting here and this is the expression that you get and this is double with a negative sign there and when you add it you get negative with equal to kinetic energy with with, with the negative sign take a screenshot please okay and you don't just take a screenshot try to analyze this yourself on a white when i say white sheet name means nothing in front of you no book nothing just a paper okay now total energy is sum of those two that is so very obvious that it is going to be negative of two times or whatever we found here right so energy is proportional to z square by n square yeah yes yeah, please everybody answer this everybody answer this 100 percent response is needed here this one is very very easy very very easy yes sai kumar i was expecting that thank you sai kumar more answers needed yes arvind thakur that was expected i'm expecting everybody to give this answer please arvind thakur and sai kumar why only two students so far more needed 
Yes, Grishma. I was expecting you also. Yes, I'm expecting everybody to give right answer. Manjushri and Ninard, just look at it one more time. There's a tiny mistake you made. It's asking, it's giving total energy. It's asking you kinetic energy. Monisha, yeah, you're right. No, Manjushri, I'm expecting you. And Ninard, I'm expecting you to give, revisit the question, please. No, 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 no. Then you did not note it down or did not understand. See, let's do this together. Um, potential is double of kinetic, okay, in, in, in a nutshell. And total is negative kinetic. That That's all we have. These are the only tools. Now give the answer, Ninard and uh, Manjushri. Ninard and Manjushri, you have to give the answer. No, 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 Atri, what are you doing there? This is not right. No, no, rhythm, no, 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 do it again. The equation is right there. No, the total energy is given. You have to find the kinetic energy. You ca Can't you just plug in the values, everybody, please? This is a question I was expecting everybody to do right. Huh, rhythm, now you get it. See, I told you. Nina and Manjushri, Atri, all three of you have to work again. You have to give me right answer. Linus, Joy, Shreya, but where are you? Shreya Hegde, no responses. Shreya Hegde, please answer here. Ganit. Okay. So total energy is given as negative 3.4 that is equal to the kinetic energy so kinetic energy is positive 3.4 electron volts that is your answer okay clear to everybody no three got it okay yes arvin Thakur says yes okay because yeah yeah this is this, that is it <laughs> no what are we talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now this is more theory. This is not a question. So let's say there is an orbit here. An electron is sitting in one of the orbit. And it makes transition from high to low. What happens then? Yeah, so that's what we are studying now. Um, no, no, no. There are no options given here, no? Yeah, yeah. So please, please answer this question. Please answer this question. No, one of the four options there are three. You have to tell me which option. Yeah, which option? A, B, C, or D? Which option is right here? So, electron, let me write it if it is not clear. It starts here. And then it ends the journey here. So it's going from a higher level to a lower level. Which option is right? A, B, C, or D? Yes, Grishma Riddhi. Awesome job there. Very good, Grishma. Uh, what happened? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I take it back. I'm really sorry, Grishma. You got to work on it again. I read Monisha's answer and your name. It's my mistake, not your mistake. So Monisha has given right answer. Ek minute, dekhte hai, dekhte hai. Hold on, hold on. So uh, Monisha gave the right answer. Grishma, you have to work again. Yeah, yeah the, Nina, these are the options. Yeah. No, Arvind Thakur, that is not right. No, so then somebody is saying release this photo. No, it is not an option here, no. You're right, it releases a photon. So what Atri has said, it releases photon. Absolutely right. But which option out of this? No, 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 no. First of all, look at potential energy. When it goes from high to low, will the potential energy increase or reduce? Go by like common sense or logic, intuition. So electron is at a higher level, coming to lower level. The word higher itself means that it has higher energy there right so potential energy reduces obviously right 
but then kinetic energy increases right so then it goes faster think about think about mars not maybe mercury versus earth right isn't mercury going faster it's closer to the sun closer it is faster it is more the kinetic energy so let's say kinetic energy increases right look look at don't look at the option kinetic energy increase yeah the option is d manjushri right so kinetic energy increases but if kinetic energy increases total energy the magnitude of that increases i get it magnitude of that increases but then it is a negative thing so if magnitude of total energy increases doesn't that mean the total energy actually reduces and by the same logic the potential energy also reduces number bada ho gaya right but it's a negative number jo bada ho gaya right so it reduces so option number d so again a poll coming here is that really clear like uh, true or false true means clear false means not clear ठीक आई एम गोइंग टू क्लोज द पोल नाउ एंड दिस इज व्हाट आई गेट राइट सो 58 परसेंट रिस्पांस इज देयर एंड एवरीबॉडी इज गिविंग दैट आंसर सो मींस इट इट इज क्लियर आई एम अज्यूमिंग इट इज क्लियर ठीक है सो दैट्स वेयर आई थिंक आई थिंक वी हैव टू लीव बिकॉज़ आफ्टर दैट इज ऑल दीस सो दिस विल कड नो एनर्जी शेल्स वी विल डू दीस फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग इन द वेंसडे क्लास आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग यू टू रीड दिस so how much energy we are saying energy increases reduces but how much energy increases or reduces that's what we are going to study on wednesday so don't leave let me just show you the um the good night message some students are leaving that's fine so momentum and radiation of photons nay bohr model is what we started here right uh, no no assignments for now because we have not done something to do assignment so started modern Uh, modern no started atoms atom structure continue with atomic structure any questions any doubts i can stay here i'm not trying to rush and end the class any questions any doubts the only reason i ended there at because logically i should start from there It, it was too much of covered yeah yeah that's what i'm saying minard i i still have time and i can stay another 10 15 minutes that's all i'm saying but i don't want to cover this new topic because it's over burden burdening kind of thing so i'm not trying to leave you here so whoever wants to leave can leave others can stay here don't watch the clock do what it does keep going keep going minard any questions any doubts Ninard, Manjushri, anybody, anybody has any questions? Otherwise, I'll end the class. No, 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 Ninard. Then, if you have to cover relativity, I would actually tell in the beginning of the class because now only seven students are remaining here. No, not even seven. Now there are six, right? We should be telling in advance. So, so let me see one of the days when I can do that. I'll tell in advance so that more students can plan to stay there. No, am I right? That that that's not a fair game. if we decide now anything related to what we covered just now oh there is a question there i am glad so grishma says if an electron jumps from higher to lower energy level will it emit or absorb energy see go by the conservation of energy we'll take vague numbers vague numbers actually help you this is higher right so this is higher let's say it has 10 joules of energy so it should have so th this is an electron it has 10 joules of energy it comes here and it now has 4 joules of energy that energy cannot be destroyed so now it is going to emit right when it jumps here it emits right it, it's more like you're here at a higher energy you come to a lower energy energy you emit that energy just now as sound and heat right so but then if you want to go to a higher energy you have to absorb some energy theek hai clear hai theek 
no need not i will see actually i'll see the schedule because i have to yeah i'll definitely cover um, i'm not just talking in here i'll cover that don't worry okay i'll see the schedule and put put a message saying please plan to stay extra 15 to 20 minutes and that is going to be a very big overview i cannot go numerical because honestly i take almost uh, if not less seven to eight hours to completely make you master including all kind of calculations and all that that cannot be squeezed but this overview will actually make you get started in what it is okay, and, and make you understand at least qualitatively if not quantitatively okay. so now everybody has left three four students in here so good night then bye 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 everybody <laughs>